I'm Lindsay Licata. This is my room. I'm 10 years old. I'm in fifth grade. I live in sunny South Florida, and I love to cook. Let me tell you a little bit about my family. There's my mom, my dad, my sister named Leah, and my dog named Buddy. I learned to cook by sitting in the kitchen watching my whole family cook, um, watching a lot of Food Network, and my cousin graduated from the Culinary Institute and my uncle owns a successful restaurant. My cooking style is fresh, healthy, and I always use local fruits and vegetables. I make everything from scratch and I always I go and catch lobsters, fish, scallops, cook them, and they're on the table. But don't forget, I love to cook sweets. So let's go into the kitchen, and I'll give you a few more tips on how. Welcome to my kitchen. The first thing you always want to do is wash your hands. You never want any germs on your food, that's gross. Today, we are going to make pantan mahi-mahi with smoked paprika spice, grilled mangoes and pineapple salsa, and fresh greens with pomegranate vinaigrette. First, we're going to start with a whole pineapple. We're going to cut them into about two or three slices, and they can be about half an inch thick. We have some fresh mango here, and we're going to brush the pineapple and the mango with some olive oil. You only want like a quarter of a teaspoon on there. Brush the whole thing and you're going to flip it and brush the other side. Then you're going to take your other piece Put it on top and brush this side. You're going to do your, the same with the mango. Both sides. And flip. This makes the um, make the fruit not stick to the grill. We're almost ready for the grill. One last side. I can't wait to eat this. We have a hot grill and we're going to take our mango our pineapple, put them on for about two to three minutes on each side. While our mango and pineapple are cooking, we're going to prepare the rest of our salsa. So first we're going to cut up the green pepper. Be careful with the sharp knife and make sure you get all of the seeds out. Those don't, those don't taste too Put your pepper up into strips. Um, quite thin. You don't want them too thick or else they will be too big in your salsa. My cousin, he always teaches me how to hold the knife and cut and um, make sure I don't cut myself. As you cut, you want to make sure your peppers are all the same size, just so it looks pretty. Now that I've finished cutting some very tasty green pepper, I'm going to add them to the bowl, as, as well as our already chopped red onion. While we melt some butter in our, sa or in our saute pan, let's season, season our fish. I have a piece of really fresh mahi-mahi that my friend Captain Joe caught for me yesterday. Let's season it with some salt. I love to use sea salt. Salt. 
lots of pepper, some garlic powder, smoked paprika, and then we're going to flip it, do the same to the other side. A little bit of salt, pepper, garlic powder, smoked paprika. The smoked paprika gives it a very smoky um, smell and taste, which I love. Now that the butter's melted, Let's add some extra virgin olive oil, about one and a half tablespoons, and make it a little bit higher on the heat, about medium high. While that's heating up, let's cut up our mango and pineapple. I like the nice um, grill marks on the fruit. It gives it a nice um, flavor to pair with the mahi-mahi. You want to cut this in uniform cubes. You want to get rid of the core because it's really hard and not so tasty. Now we're going to throw this into our bowl. Now we're going to start cutting our mango. You want the mango about the same size as the pineapple. It helps if you line all the mango up and then you'll have perfect cubes. Add that to your bowl. The nice thing about grilling mango is that it gets rid of mango's slimy texture. So if you didn't like mango because of the texture, now it's a whole different taste. Let's finish our salsa by adding the last few ingredients. The first thing we're going to add is some lemon zest or and lime zest. You don't want to do one spot too much or else that the white part gets really bitter, especially on the lemon. Now I'm going to do the lemon. You zest the lemon in the lime because it gives it a very um, fresh, citrusy flavor. And I love that. I'm going to... Um, Put one lime and one lemon and I'm going to squeeze the juice. But first I'm going to roll them so the juice um, comes out and it's easier to squeeze. I'm going to do that to both lemon and lime. Cut them in half and squeeze. Make sure you don't get any seeds. Since there's not a lot of seeds in limes, it makes it a lot easier to squeeze. Because you can squeeze with both hands. You want all the juice. Our last ingredient before we finish our salsa is habanero hot sauce. You can use any kind of hot sauce, your favorite hot sauce. And um, you're, I'm going to put two little shots of that in and mix it. And if you, if you like it spicy or if you don't like it spicy, you can add less or more. And we have a few tasting forks. We're going to see. It's really good. I think it needs a little bit more hot sauce. And then pop. 
sausage yan. Taste. Mmm. Perfect. Now let's put our fish into our hot butter and oil. Mmm, I love that sound. We're going to cook it for about two minutes on each side. While our fish is cooking, let's dress our greens. I have pre-made a pomegranate vinaigrette. It has pomegranate vinegar, some olive oil, garlic, and a little bit of onion. Let's whisk it up. It depends on how much you like. You can add more, less, doesn't matter. Okay. Let's check on our fish. Now that our fish is done, we're going to put it onto a plate. Now we're ready to plate this yummy dish. Put the fish on your plate. We're going to put some mango salsa on the side. Plate some of our salad. It smells so good. We're going to do a little bit of a lemon gar garnish, some cilantro, and we're done. This is one of my many favorite dishes to make. And I think I would be a great contestant on your show.